Most internships are based on what all you can do for the organization in a short period of time. A lot of times those are maybe three months. Sometimes you might find a year long internship, but they're, they're very short term and it's much more about you learning and gleaning as much as you can from this. You're, you're kind of uh, observing everything from like a mile high view, whereas a residency is two years long and you are ingrained in it. You are viewed as someone who is on staff. You have leadership opportunity. You have uh, gains and you have influence even on the people that you're leading and working with. And so because of that, there's a lot more ownership that you have. I got to do all sorts of things for my pastoral development. I got to uh, lead a guest services team and just uh, lead a bunch of volunteers in creating a warm, hospitable church culture. As people come in, I've gotten to uh, have opportunities to coach life group leaders and help develop content and curriculum for that, as well as I got to film and edit some of those curriculum videos, which video editing is another awesome passion that I have to put that into play. Residency is designed for you to kind of not just focus in your passion area, but also to push you outside and just to be exposed to all of these other things that the church has to offer. The cool thing about the residency is in two years, you bypass about five to seven years worth of church experience that you would learn through trial and error and a lot of heartache and failure uh, at another church if you were to go into a part-time or full-time job right out of college. Because through the intentional coaching and the leadership development and the teachings and just being in a healthy, vibrant church, you just pick up so many things that are just intuitive and are just natural for you that would just take a lot of heartache to learn on your own through other churches that might not be as developed in that way. So because of that, I was able to get this really condensed uh, and phenomenal development period through just the span of two years. The teaching that we receive for our residency, the leadership development, is off the charts, like spot on. It's um, kind of a hybrid of 12 stone and our own curriculum. Like they work together to kind of come up with this conglomerate and it just covers everything from leadership development to pouring into team members, to developing your own self personally, to what does Sabbath rest look like? What does personal health habits look like? It just covers every area of what it means to be a pastor. And it's not just leadership development or professional development as we often think, it's holistic. It's developing your entire self so you're not just a good leader, you're a healthy person. You get paired up with both a personal and a professional coach. And the professional coach just helps you to walk through everything that you're doing professionally. So that you'll do re weekend reviews of like what went well here, what's going well with your own ministry, oh, what are some setbacks, how can we work through that? And it's just a really great way to help you process what you're learning through the safety net of someone who's been in ministry for 10 plus years, and it's huge. But then there's also the personal coaching side, which is where you can just get upfront and honest with um, some of the stuff that you're dealing with in your life that you just need to process through and just that you can freely confess that. And having the freedom to do so just makes you feel, again, safe and like you're able to grow um, as a person, you know, and it just shows how much the ransom cares about us, not just for what we can put into the ministry or the organization, but rather who we are as people. The best part of the residency is it's all about your own personal and pastoral development. It's not even so much about what you do for the ransom or for the church, it's about how you're being developed in your vocation. And because of that, I was given a lot of freedom to develop a philosophy of ministry and a passion and a dream that God's given on you know, given to my life and laid on my heart to do this whole thing with spiritual friendship and how the church can remedy the loneliness epidemic sweeping our culture. And because I was given the tools and the time and the opportunity to develop that through a practical uh, lab, a laboratory like the Ransom, I was able to expand that and just have my calling and really a large piece of my identity fully clarified. The residency was able to put me in a place where I could learn what it means to be content with what's being given to me and how to steward everything that's um, being put on my plate and just to excel in those things. And through that, I have learned just how to be joyous and content and just to strive through every little thing, no matter how small or insignificant it seems, because it all adds up in God's kingdom.